Hello, I'm Arcadia Page, and I have taken over my husband's office to film this video. Uh, I just wanted to share um, the updates about my um, planner that I have built from scratch. I shared it from shared it on my blog not too long ago. Just some pictures and some words about it. But since I first made it, I have simplified it a lot and streamlined it a lot. So I am looking forward to sharing with you what um, the results of simplifying my planner has been and just to see just to share where I am now and hopefully I'll give you some inspiration on making planner planning <laughs> easier for you all right so um, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it so here's my planner and I apologize for the left-handed um, uh, left-handed positioning of everything <laughs> but hopefully it'll still be easy enough to understand exactly what's going on here so first off, um, here's like the overall like main structure for my planner right now. So compared to my first blog post that I made about it, I really simplify things quite a bit. So first off, um, I decided to go ahead and just have one goal for the year. And when I say one goal for the year, like it could be one goal for the entire year, but then at the same time, it also could just be the first goal for the entire year because if I decide if I meet the first the first goal for the year, then I could set a second goal or a third goal always in the same year. So I just say one goal for the year, but that could end up being multiple goals because that's just that's just the way I work. <laughs> so after I set like one goal for the week for the year, I go ahead and figure out a goal for the week related to that to that overall goal for the year. And then after that, looking at what I plan to achieve for the week. I decide on what is my number one goal for the day and then from there I, fo I, I also write down three things I must do today and then I include other notes and other tasks under that. So just to kind of like give an idea of what that actually looks like, I'm going to go through my planner now so you can see that. So um, first of all I think about um, when I was setting this up, I was thinking about so what is my goal for the year? So. Um, I went ahead and set up my goal for the year on this page and by the way my planner has these different tabs because it helps me to walk through uh, which pages I need to go to so these first two are things that I do the pink ones are what I do or what I review weekly this this yellow one here and this other yellow one here is what I check daily and then this here is like my main what I do to do to do to do <laughs> what I do today page and um, also my notes for the day so that's so it enables me to get to it really fast um, so my goal for the year so I have my goal for the year and then underneath my goal for the year I ask myself what can I do this week to stay on track so then each week I just write down one thing that I can do to stick to my goal um, for the for the year that I can do each week and then also um, after I do that after I decide what I do each week then I go ahead and copy it to this page which is my uh, weekly pretty much my weekly layout so for each week so here is my under this week's projects I went ahead and put a star next to my goal for the week, which is related to my goal for the year, and I put star next to it to remind myself. And then under here, I added three must-do items for the week, which really, um, they're not only project related, they're not really related to my life, they're only related to projects that I'm trying to take care, take care of. And up top, I actually have a habit tracker, and I know I mentioned in my post that I'm not that great at habit trackers, but really, um, I'm really bad at habit trackers that cover 30 days. Um, a habit tracker that covers a week is fine. I usually can stick to those. So this is just a week. I just kind of wish it was a bit more organized, so I'll probably be right next time so all my chores are together, and then my other things are more together, my more creative things are more together. This is like my, my daily habits, and not all of them are daily. Some of them are every other day or whatever. So um, there's that. And then, um, so I have my to do's for the week and then after that I just have other to do's after my, my main items for my projects. This is just like random stuff that 
I might that are important but not really that urgent so I can kind of like do them whenever I need to so that's how I would go ahead and move my goal for the year to the goal to my goal for the week and then after I do my week I go ahead and plan my day so this is my <laughs> right now it looks pretty crazy because this is from yesterday and then this is for today and then I also have like a bunch of notes like just from what I've read or what I'm thinking so a lot of a lot of different notes but this is like basically where I start so I had my goal for the week which was to reach out more to people and then here I have my goal for the day which is um, um, to, to have a zoom meeting with my parents <laughs> or schedule to have one with my parents so that's pretty much related to my, it's like my goal for the year breaks down to my goal for the week and then it breaks down to my goal for the day. And that's why I put a star next to. And then I go ahead and have my three must do items right here. One, two, three. And then sometimes the must do items come from my calendar, which is number two right here. So this is my calendar. So sometimes my must do events come from my calendar and sometimes they're just things I realize I have to do this today. Because if I don't, then tomorrow is not going to be so great. So that's what these top three things are. That's why cooking dinner is there because things won't be so great if I don't do that today. So then after that, I put little dots with circles. And these are just all my habits. So this is actually the habits from my habit tracker all written down here to my list so I can actually remember to do them. So it's kind of redundant, but it helps me remember. So that's why all that's there. And I haven't crossed anything out yet because I just wanted to be e make it easy for you to see what it's like. So for repetitive things, I put a circle around it. And then after that, um, I just go ahead and put all my notes. And then I put my other task. So all my notes have dashes. All my task has bullets. <laughs> I like the bullet journal method. And then um, I like to put hearts next to things that I find inspiring or things that are very easy to do. So, um, so that's pretty much it. Um, so that's it. So with my tabs here, my, um, my plans for today huh, is under reminders. And I like how I, right here, I put this little reminder for myself, uh, what things I actually need to remind myself of. Is this important, urgent, sparks joy, or do I even need to do this? So it kind of helps me to know what I should um, do and what I should not even worry about. And um, so that's just the basics. Uh, a few other things real quick about my planner is that I went ahead and changed, I also have like a whenever page. So these are just things that can happen really whenever. Things I really wanna do, but things that I don't have to do within the next week. And um, yeah, so that's about it. I simplified it a lot from when I first started and then um, I also have a notes section here which I'm not showing because it actually has a lot of my book ideas um, a lot of my future book projects I'm actually working on so I don't want to spoil the surprise there but um, this is where I write my notes and when I write my notes I do one topic per page and I also do um, and I put them in alphabetical order and yeah, and then I also have a future log too after my calendar. So I have my calendar with all my events and then I also have a future log and this is where I put in um, all the, the um, future log stuff under each month. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's the tour. I hope the left-handedness um, didn't confuse you and I hope maybe that helps to give you a better idea of um, how I plan right now because I had to rebuild this totally from the beginning. So I hope that you find this helpful.